Asava, this is Gia Blazable coming at you with another Destiny video and to welcome to today's video this is going to be part two guys. If you guys see saw my video on how to turn your monitors then you are on the right place. This is going to be part number two on how to actually get each individual code to correspond with each individual canister. Now if uh, you guys are watching this I'm pretty sure you guys have the monitors active and you guys are ready to go and ready to get started but before we get started let's go ahead and try to get some likes on this video if you guys find this video helpful and informative let's try to reach 100 likes and let's jump right on in so you guys are in the diamond room there's two people at each monitor they're just waiting for you to let them know that you guys are ready the four people who are in the farm if you guys remember my previous video we have the service room which is where the monitors are and we have the farm room so the two people who are in the service room where the monitors are the left hand side monitor is going to equal column the right hand side monitor is going to equal row so once again column and row the cool thing about this is when i first did it i didn't know this but now i do know this so i'm going to go ahead and let you guys know there is a binary code so the, the monitors will read the following codes i'm gonna go ahead and post these on on the, on the video so you guys can see what the monitor codes are so you guys can get an idea of what you guys need to know when the monitors show up you know whenever the digits or the numbers show up on your video so this is the ones you're going to want to know so zero 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 equals zero 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 one equals one zero zero ten equals two zero zero eleven equals three zero one hundred equals four and zero one oh one equals five there's only these are the only ones you're going to know the people who are going to be in the computer room you guys are going to want to know these numbers down to the science because you guys are going to want to make life a lot easier for your for the person who's actually you know jumping on this because you will be on a timer to jump on each canister so once the first person that's in the service room where the monitors are presses x they will go ahead and get a number this number would be one of the fives that i just listed that first number that's on the left hand side that is going to tell you what column you have to go with so for example let's say i were to get 0001 that would be column number one if i go ahead and the right hand side gets 0011 that will be column one which is the first one guy that read it from the left and the row would be row three so i know in which column to actually jump on now do keep in mind this goes counterclockwise so from the entrance to your left hand side you're going to want to go left that's the first code you're going to want to put in then you go you keep going left the second one will be the second code you're going to be putting in the third one will be the third code you're going to be in and the fourth one will be the fourth code you're going to be in so it goes counterclockwise guys and that is how the sequence is formed do keep in mind that from the left hand side you start with zero the first the first column is zero and then it goes zero one two three four across and then the ones that are from the side of the bridge the first uh canisters that are in front of you on the bridge those are zeros and the one all the way to the wall is five so it goes zero one two three four five that is how you guys know how they work so once you have that theory set up all you're going to want to do is the person that's in the computers will hold down x they will call out the number and you are going to jump to the corresponding container you're going to move all around the way you're going to be able to know if this works or not when the first person jumps on the container you have to wait on uh, stand on it for 10 seconds once 10 seconds go by that cylinder will light up letting you know that you got the right sequence then the second person will jump on the uh, cylinder theirs will light up and you know you have the right sequence then the third person and so forth remember between each time you jump on the canister and it lights up from the moment it lights up you have 10 seconds for the other person to jump on their cylinder so not only are the people who are reading the monitors have to be quick but the people who are jumping on the monitors have to be quick as well if for some reason you jump on the wrong canister you will hear a noise going rare letting you know that you failed it and you have to start all over there is no like section that you have to start over at a certain period you could just go ahead as soon as all of you wipe or mess up jump towards the middle and the first read of the monitor will go ahead and give you the reading for the first uh, cycle around once you guys go ahead and complete this correctly the diamond will open up you will be presented with a chest you're able to open up that chest where you get an exotic engram 
and you also get a very awesome emblem and not only that but you're able to turn on the monitor and get ready to open the last chest which is at the boss fight that is how you guys open the diamond i hope you found this video helpful and informative if you did make sure you guys leave a comment and like and i will have a complete guide with all the where all the monitor locations are and each code you'll have to input to each individual fuse so keep it locked here and i will catch you guys on the next video